Guys, before we actually start looking at demos for AutoGPT, let's understand why AutoGPT was created and uh, we will be covering this aspects of this. So first one is we'll understand what is AutoGPT, how does AutoGPT work and compare, how does AutoGPT compare with ChatGPT, limitations of AutoGPT and finally we'll be looking at how to install auto gpt locally and second one is we are going to look at agent ai which is uh insta which is running auto gpt on the cloud without having to do any setup locally third one is god mode auto gpt is what we'll be looking at so uh, that, let's understand what is auto gpt so silicon valley's quest to automate everything is a uh, never ending which explains its latest obsession with auto gpt so this was rolled out on march 30th in essence auto gpt uses the versatility of openai's latest model to interact with software and services online allowing it to autonomously perform tasks like x and y but as we are learning with large language model this capability seems to be wide as an ocean but deep as a puddle so auto gpt which might have seen blowing up social media recently is an open source app created by a game developer named torin bruce richards which uses open ai's text generation model gpt 3.5 and gpt 4 to act autonomously so there is no magic in the autonomy. Auto GPT simply handles the follow-ups to an initial prompt of an open AI model, both asking and answering questions until they complete a task. So Auto GPT basically is GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 paired with, com with a companion bot that instructs GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 to do what uh, to do uh, a user tells auto gpt what their goal is and bot in turn uses gpt 3.5 and gpt 4 and several programs to carry out a very steep uh, uh, way every step needed to achieve whatever goal they have set what auto gpt reasonably is capable of ability to interact with the apps software and services both online and local uh, like web browsers word processes for example, if you give a prompt, help me grow my flower business, Auto GPT develops a possible advertising agency and builds a basic website. So that's what basically Auto GPT is. And uh, we'll look at in more detail what it basically is. And one more thing I wanted to tell you is Auto GPT is publicly available on GitHub, but it does require some setup to know how to get it up and running which we'll be covering later and uh, before we get into program uh, before we get into uh, uh, working with auto gpt let's understand this more in detail so the next part what we'll be looking at is how does auto gpt work so auto gpt works based on autonomous ai mechanism where AI system creates different AI agents to meet specific tasks, which include task creation. When you enter your goals on an auto GPT, the first agent to interact with the task creation agent based on your goals, it will create a list of tasks with steps to achieve them and send it to the prioritization agent as shown here. So task prioritization agent, after receiving the list of tasks, the prioritization AI agent ensures the sequence is correct and makes logical sense before sending it to the execution agent. Then the task execution agent, once prioritization is done, the execution agent completes one task after another. This involves tapping the GPT-4 internet and other resources to get the desired results so the above agents also communicate with each other so when the execution agent complete all the tasks 
The results are unsatisfactory. It can communicate with the task creation agent to create a new list of tasks. This becomes an iterative loop between three agents until all the user defined goals are complete. So the action of the AI agent are also known as the user interface by categorizing them into four groups, thought, reasoning, plan and uh, criticism. First, the AI agent shares thoughts after completing a task, then comes reasoning, which explains why the AI agent is doing what it's doing. After that, the system provides a plan to complete a task. Finally, system gives criticism to allow AI agent to rectify its mistakes and overcome its limitations. So by sharing the computational flow, AutoGPT gives insights into how it approaches a particular problem and overcomes them without any user intervention. So in the next step, uh, now we need to see how does auto GPT compare with chat GPT? So while the underlying large language model is same, we can draw quite a similar distinction between auto GPT and chat GPT. Some of them are listed below. So one is real time insight. So the greatest GPT-4 model that is uh, chat GPT-4 or 3.5 uses data trained in the same data as GPT 3.5, which is still September 2021. So if you look at any chat GPT interface, it say it does not have knowledge beyond the 2021 date. So you can't get real time insights using chat GPT as you can't access websites and online platforms to extract information. On the other hand, Auto GPT has access to internet. It can not only surf the web, but also validate whether a source is legitimate. Further, Auto GPT can access any platform to perform a task. For example, if you ask uh, Auto GPT uh, to research prospects of selling a product and send an outreach email, it will draft and send the email using your Gmail account. The next one is memory management. Context window is the mo very important for large language models to give accurate results. But in LLM like ChatGPT, the window size has a limit anywhere between 4000 to 8000 tokens. So if the requirement is beyond the limit, the model may not follow all the instructions properly or may have uh, or may go off on the tangent and give unreliable outputs. In contrast, Auto GPT is good at short term and long term memory management by using vector databases. So later on, we'll be looking at something called Pinecone uh, to execute Auto GPT, which is a vector database. So Auto GPT can store the context on previous experiences to allow the model to make better decision. Next is image generation. Auto GPT is capable of generating an image as it uses DALE API. If you don't, if you want to enable image generation functionality for your AI agent, you need API access to DALE. This feature is currently unavailable in ChatGPT4 despite being a multimodal input vice. So text to speech, you can enable text to speech on auto GPT, which we'll be looking at in the later demo by typing Python M auto GPT speak in command line. But you have to enter the command every time you interact with auto GPT. You can add different voices to the speech to connecting auto GPT to in 11 labs where you have to clone your own voice for a versatile AI speed software. We won't be covering that because that's optional in uh, uh, auto GPT. So I'm not looking into the voice cloning, at least in the scope of this uh, lecture. So the next one are limitations. So there is no doubt autonomous agents uh, nature adds a new dimension to AI systems. At some point, we cannot ignore the limitation and risk of auto GPT. Some of the key limitations which we must know are uh, the two which we which you see up in your screen. The first one is it's too expensive to use. While the functionality is amazing, auto GPT practically will likely disappoint you. Uses an expensive GPT-4 model. The cost per completing uh, 
task completion is very high even for a small task. This is mainly because auto GPT can use GPT for numerous times at a step uh, of a particular task. It is not practical because it can't replicate outputs in different scenario when input is the same. For example, if we ask the model to find out the top running shoes on the road and the turf, it won't create a function to replicate the process for turf category. Instead, it will start from the scratch, which increases the cost here. So get stuck in a loop too often. The most common issue with uh, users are facing with auto gpt is it gets stuck in a loop if it goes on for more than a couple of minutes it is likely means you have to restart the process this happens because auto gpt relies on gpt4 to properly define and decompose the task so results are inadequate for auto gpt to take any action and the another one is data breaches are possible which when an AI model operates autonomously with access to your system and internet, your data may be leaked. As there is no security agents, it is a concern and you will have to be careful when using auto GPT. You can't leave the model uh, running without giving proper instruction and safety guideline and you may also be subject to prompt injection attacks, which won't be stopped once a task is running and you run it in continuous mode which we'll be looking at later so that's all i had in the next video we, we will look at uh, install auto gpt locally the next one will be agent ai and the last we'll be looking at the god mode for auto gpt so that's all i wanted to cover i hope this helps and got gave you a good understanding of auto gpt before actually looking into uh, running auto gpt Test. Thank you.